Welcome back to the channel warriors where I provide you guys tips tricks and guides on how to improve your gameplay in apex legends I'm warlug and today I'm gonna break down five tips and how to improve your movement in apex legends Now before we begin as a reminder guys I do stream every Friday Saturday and Sunday over on Twitch The link is gonna be down in the description below. So if you guys have any questions about this video join me over there Okay, let's head right into the firing range and get started. All right, guys, welcome to the firing range. So today I have five tips that I'm gonna give you to improve your movement in Apex Legends. They're gonna be strafing, ducking, strafe and duck, circle strafe and duck, and then slide jumping. Now, some of these are what a lot of pros use and I use them, so let's start with the first one, strafing. So when you're looking at a target, you're gonna be pretty easy to hit when you are just standing still. When you're standing still, you're gonna be easy peasy. You're gonna be easy to be hit guys. So first one is gonna be strafing. Okay, what strafing means is that's just moving back and forth While aiming at your target and all this does is it just makes you a little bit harder to hit So as you can see I move pretty fast when I'm not ADSing and then when I'm ADSing I'm still moving But what this allows me to do is When I'm shooting it makes me a whole lot harder to be hit. Okay, you're gonna always want to strafe when you are shooting, okay? And this is just a simple one, just back and forth, left to right, right to left, circle around, okay? And a fast way to do this is when you are aiming to ADS and aim the opposite way you're moving. So if this is the target and I wanna move left, I'm gonna hold my other joystick right. And then the opposite way. If I wanna move left, then I wanna hold this joystick left. So when then you're aiming, you know, you're always ADSing and you can stay on target. Strafing, this is just gonna be a big one, big one. I've seen too many players when I'm shooting at them, they just kinda do this and shoot, or they're just kinda walking forward towards a target, which makes you pretty easy to hit and most likely you're gonna be killed in combat, okay? All right, guys, moving on to tip number two is ducking. This one's a little bit harder, especially if you don't have a scuff controller or something that has paddles on the back, like an Astro or anything like that. So all this is, is just ducking and shooting. But the idea here is, is you don't want to be ADSing. You want to be hip firing when you can do this. This is a little bit more of an advanced technique. So if I'm up close, I'm gonna be a lot harder to hit when I go down like this. It's kind of like in Call of Duty when you are drop shotting and you lay down or if you're jump shooting you, you become insanely harder to hit a lot of players have trouble aiming up at a jump shot or aiming down on a drop shot and this applies for the same thing in apex legends so when you are in close range you could do this at farther distances but you're going to be a little less accurate but in close range all you want to do is duck so when you're shooting right uh, i just want to duck and hit fire that's it Okay, and then you can add one more variation to it is to do what I'm doing, which is kind of like teabagging. So when you're shooting, you just kind of go up and down and it makes you insanely hard to hit. Okay, insanely hard to hit. A lot of players, see how I just duck back and forth right there? A lot of players are not going to be able to aim at you fast enough while you're ADSing or while you're ducking, excuse me, while you're ducking. A lot of players are not going to be able to do this. Okay. See, if you look at the gun, see how much lower I am just from the standard stand up at center screen. Look where I'm aiming. So if I duck, he's he can't even hit me unless he aims down. So I already have the advantage. So this one's going to be a little bit harder again, guys, if you don't have a scuff or an Astro or something where you can put paddles on the back or have only paddles. If you play claw, this one's going to be a little bit easier to do. But I definitely advise trying to incorporate this one. Um, if you can, even if you're standing still, it does help to go up and down while you're shooting. It will help you guys. So I definitely advise to practice that one. Okay, guys, tip number three is strafe and duck. So what this one is gonna be is it's gonna combine the first two tips that I gave you into one. So when you're strafing, you kinda wanna go back and forth, right, and just duck. This makes you insanely hard to hit. So if I'm ADSing, right, and I'm just gonna be ducking and aiming, okay? Just moving levels, I'm moving levels up and down, up and down, right? So strafing left and right, same thing, joystick to the opposite direction to try to stay on target. And then all you do is incorporate the duck. That's it. That's all you have to do. Combining these two is gonna make you insanely hard to hit, okay? 
very it's difficult to do guys but once you kind of practice it and get it down it's going to make you nearly impossible to hit you see pros do it all the time is strafing and just ducking strafing and ducking okay and this is just side to side and incorporating the duck again if you don't have a controller with paddles it's going to be a little bit harder to do um, you could always go into your settings go to controller and change your button layout to bumper jumper and bumper jumper will allow you to duck and do that accordingly okay so just back and forth ducking see how i'm doing that and again you want to hit fire you can start off adsing right at the target and then just go back and forth see how i was strafing left and right just aiming at my target just adjusting levels guys this one's a little bit harder to do but it can be done I definitely advise coming here to the firing range and practicing as much as possible before you actually get into a fight. Okay, guys, tip number four. And now this is going to combine everything that we've done, but add a circle movement. So this is going to be the circle strafe and duck. Okay, if you haven't watched pros or watched big streamers or anybody, you're just going to go in a circle, right? You're going to go in a circle, but you also, this is strafing at the same time because you're left and right but then you're gonna incorporate the duck. See this? Now this makes it super hard. So if I'm aiming at somebody doing this, I have to go like this. I have to go in a big, I have to go in a big circle to try to keep up with them and aim. And then a lot of people are gonna go brain dead because they're gonna see that and then they're gonna stop moving because they're gonna try to focus on you so much with all your movements. So all you're gonna do again is just circle, right? Circle, strafe, and then add the duck and then you just shoot, right? Now the key here is, as you can see how slow I am when I do this, my circles aren't as big when I ADS. So all this is, is pure hip fire. This is mainly used for close quarters combat guys. So when you're doing this, see how I'm ducking around, see how fast I'm moving. So it makes me insanely hard to hit. The ADS, you always move slower as opposed to hip firing. So this technique really doesn't work for ADSing. The one I would advise using for ADSing is just the duck kind of strafe, duck strafe, or duck up and down, move back and forth to ADS. But you definitely want to use this one back and forth, back and forth, circle, circle, circle. You're going to be so hard to hit, they're going to go brain dead, guys. No joke, they're going to go brain dead. All right. So that one's much more difficult. It's probably the hardest one on all the tips that I'm going to give you guys today. But definitely practice that one. And you could do it from about this this range. I mean, hip firing in, AD, in uh, Apex Legends is pretty good. So when you're doing it, you know, it, it makes it a little, you're not as accurate, but it can be done. Okay, but that is mainly used for close quarters combat, guys. Okay, moving on to the last tip that I have for you in today's video, and it's just a slide jump, okay? A lot of people, even that I've played with, don't realize that one, running with your gun out makes you run faster, and then the slide jump. You cover so much ground when you slide jump compared to just running. You can catch almost anybody if they're just regular running. You can slide jump to catch them, okay? This also applies when you're coming down a hill right so if i i'm sliding jump slide jump okay sliding and jumping is is apex is one of the best games when it comes to battle royale for movements and slide jumping is used on pretty much everything so make sure you're practicing slide jump and when you incorporate this into a fight right you can just slide jump in okay slide jump in put your gun away slide jump bring it out right and then just take your target down but slide jumping is one of the most basic, basic commands or actions or movements in Apex Legend. It's used for everything. It's how you gain ground. It's how you escape from an enemy shooting at you. It's how you do everything in Apex Legends. And again, guys, when you're on a hill or rocks or something that's in your path, right? If I'm slide jumping, you can jump and then reintroduce the slide jump every time you're on a rock. Every time you're on a surface, a few steps, slide jump. Oh, another one, slide jump. Make sure you practice this basic technique for movement in Apex Legends. 
it's going to save your life a lot. You're going to be able to get away. You're going to get used to moving a lot faster and a lot quicker, okay? Okay, guys, I really hope this video helped you out today. If you guys have any questions about today's video, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over on Twitch. The link is going to be down in the description below. Let me know down in the comment section which tip you're going to try out the next time you play Apex Legends. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on post notification guys this stuff really helps me out and as for me warlug as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace